Hello bookish friends, welcome to my 2023 reading goals. Uh, these videos are always very exciting uh, to make for me because uh, uh, I love uh, setting goals. Uh, I actually do like uh, setting up uh, the goals uh, process even more than uh, acquiring them. Uh, and because I'm mostly a goal-oriented reader, I'm pretty uh, good at uh, achieving my reading goals too. Uh, so that's why these videos are uh significant uh, for me as well as being a very enjoyable uh, recording experience first reading goal that i do is a goodreads reading challenge uh, for the past uh, three or four years i set my goodreads goal uh, to be 100 books and uh, i will do the same uh, for the past uh, two years, I read more than 150 works uh, in uh, Goodreads, so I don't think it will be a great challenge. But I like to do this challenge because I like to keep track of books that I'm reading for the year in Goodreads. And my monthly TBRs will, of course, include uh, book club books. I'm a member of uh, two real-life book clubs. One is more formal, whereas the other one is uh, le less formal uh, with two of my best friends. And that one is a bit more flexible. Uh, other than my real-life book clubs, uh, I plan to uh, join on uh, these four online uh, book clubs uh, as much as I can, which are uh, Killer Reads Book Club, hosted by uh, AJ Dunn Reads and Writes. Fear of Missing Out book club created by uh, Jack, Alice and Gemma. Krista's Patron book club hosted by uh, Krista at Books and Gems. And last but of course not least, uh, Krista Fest uh, discussion group uh, hosted by Julie and Lil. Books of Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, I started uh, doing uh, this uh, challenge last year uh, as a celebration of Alfred Hitchcock uh, starting uh, his directing uh, work in uh, 1922. Last year I read uh, 12 uh, works that have been adapted uh, to Alfred Hitchcock movies and my reading experience has been very interesting. Uh, I, I really did like some of the works whereas uh, some others uh, became my least favorites of the year. I will talk more about uh, those works in my uh, 2022 Reading Goals Evaluation video. But it was interesting enough for me to continue uh, with this goal. The books uh, that I will read uh, for the uh, next 12 months will be uh, in January, uh, the book will be Jamaica Inn by Daphne de Maurier. In February, uh, it will be Rebecca by Daphne de Maria again. In March, uh, it will be Before the Fact by Francis Isles. In April, the book will be The Secret Agent by Joseph Conrad. In May, uh, I will read The House of Dr. Edward S. by Francis Beading. In June, uh, I will read The Paradon Case by Robert Hitchens. In July, the book will be Rope by Patrick Hamilton. Uh, in August, the book of the month will be Andrew Capricorn by Helen Simpson. September's book will be Strangers on a Train by Patricia Highsmith. Uh, for October, I will read Dial M for Murder by Frederick Knott. In November, the short story will be Rear Window by William Irish. And uh, I will finish the year with uh, To Catch a Thief by David Dodge. Unlike last year, I read all of the adaptations of these uh, works. And I think this will be an even more interesting experience for me than last year. A new goal that I'm setting is to read more physical books from my shelf or my parents' bookshelves. When I look uh, at the statistics uh, of the books that I read, I read less and less physical books. And the physical books on my shelves, uh, lent by my aunt especially, get, keeps getting more and more. I decided to put the books on my physical TBR to this uh, tall glass. And I chose the books uh, that were less than 
400 pages uh, since uh, I plan to read as much as I can uh, from uh, my physical books. Because most of the books are uh, Turkish books, uh, I did not make a special video and uh, put them uh, beforehand. I think uh, this will be a great opportunity uh, for me to uh, read uh, even more Turkish books. And our next uh, reading goal is a familiar reading goal, which is the series count. Uh, I will continue with the uh, decision that I made uh, in the second half of last year, which is to put a uh, series that have less than three books uh, to finish or to catch up uh, with the series. I love uh, creating the series cup. So a special video including uh, the series uh, that I have three or less books uh, to read from uh, will be uh, online uh, during this week. Another new goal uh, that I plan to make is to read uh, four trilogies in 2023. Uh, I chose uh, trilogies uh, from uh, different genres uh, and uh, all of these uh, trilogies have been on my TBR uh, for uh, more than uh, two years. I decided to include all my friends uh, who wants to join me uh, in reading these trilogies. Uh, I will make a special video about uh, this goal. I think it will be the uh, next video that will be online. For uh, January, February and March, uh, I chose the Winner's Curse Trilogy by Marie Rytrowski. April, May and June, I chose the Remnants Trilogy by Margaret Pinard, uh, written by one of my dearest friends in uh, Booktube. Uh, the next trilogy for July, August and September uh, was Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. And we are finishing the uh, year uh, with uh, a fantasy trilogy, uh, which is uh, The Ark of a Sight by Neil Shusterman, uh, which I plan to read in the months of uh, October, November and December. Please comment down below uh, if you want to join in any of these read-alongs. As you know, I love bird reading. I think the more people are included, the more uh, joyful the reading experience becomes. For my first really reading challenge, uh, I plan to do Golden Girls Reading Challenge again, which is created by uh, Rachel Priman. I will put the uh, card that I will use, uh, which includes the prompts. Like I did last year, I will choose the books uh, in, in that month's TBR uh, according uh, to read-alongs or uh, body reads that I will do. I love how flexible uh, the prompts are and uh, it was really easy for me to uh, complete uh, the challenge last year and uh, I'm hoping it will be the same this year. The next yearly reading challenge is a series about series, another familiar reading challenge. But this time uh, I'm not going to uh, take a relaxed approach like I did last year. Because when I watched Elizabeth's uh, announcement video, I was very uh, surprised that, that uh, two of the prompts uh, that she mentioned fitted perfectly with my already decided uh, reading goals. Uh, the first prompt was uh, to start and finish trilogies, which fitted perfectly with my uh, trilogies read-along uh, goals. Uh, I decided to choose the number three for all of the prompts. Uh, so my goal is to uh, start and finish uh, three trilogies. Trilogies uh, that I mentioned, uh, which were uh, The Winner's Course by Mary Ritrowski, Remnants by Margaret Pinard, Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan, and uh, Ark of a Sight by Neil Schusterman will be trilogies uh, that I chose uh, for this uh, prompt. Second prompt was to read series that you have three or less books from. It is the definition of uh, the decision that I made for Series Cup last year. So I will use the Series Cup uh, to uh, choose the series. And considering we have uh, 12 months, uh, I will at least read and finish or catch up with uh, three series by the end of 2023. And the last prompt was to read at least uh, three books in three series. 
Uh, and I chose uh, the series that I will most probably read uh, even more books from. The first one is Harry Hall series by John Esbo. Uh, we are both reading uh, the series with uh, Naomi at Naomi's Bookshelf and Nikki at Red Dot Reads. And we have more than uh, three books uh, to read uh, to catch up with this series. Uh, this is one of the series that I've enjoyed very, very much, especially last year. Uh, the second series that I chose was Hercule Poirot series by Agatha Christie. Uh, I finished both Miss Marple and uh, Tommy and Tappan series uh, by Agatha Christie. And uh, it is time that uh, I make a uh, progress uh, from this uh, series, which was a bit neglected in the previous two years. The last series that I chose uh, was a, a very cute middle grade series. Uh, which is Paddington Bear series by Michael Bond. Uh, I don't think it will be a burden uh, to listen to uh, three books from this uh, series that I enjoy listening very, very much. And the third yearly reading challenge that I've created for myself is heavily inspired by many of the uh, reading around the world uh, reading challenges done by uh, many booktubers. I created my challenge uh, very similar to Janelle's uh, challenge, uh, which is uh, to read books uh, set in different countries. In the year 2023, I will try to read uh, books set in uh, 20 different countries. I will include uh, the uh, countries that the books takes place in in my monthly statistics uh, so that uh, I will uh, keep track of how I'm doing with this goal uh, every month. I think this goal will be a good opportunity for me to diversify uh, my reading from uh, different cultures than mine. So those were my uh, monthly TBR uh, goals as well as yearly reading challenge goals uh, for uh, 2023. I will also, of course, read uh, books uh, for monthly read-alongs and uh, events. So please comment down below. Do you have similar reading goals uh, as mine? Do you like to do yearly reading challenges too? Uh, and if you're a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. As for Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose a month since uh, half of my reading goals includes monthly TBR goal. Month means I in Turkish and I is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.